Excel's data subtotal feature is one of its more powerful tools, enabling you to summarize large volumes of data quickly and without the need to enter formulas. However, if you need to summarize daily transactions at the monthly level, using data subtotal can be a bit of a challenge. In this tip, you're going to learn how to use data subtotal to summarize quickly large volumes of daily data at the monthly level. Now in our illustration, we have almost 6,000 rows of daily transactional data that we need to summarize by month. To begin the process of subtotaling the data by month, as you would with any other subtotal, first sort the data. In this case, we want to sort from oldest to newest. Having sorted the data, now comes the critical part. We need to change the format of the date-oriented data in column A to a format that does not display the date number, only the month and, optionally, the year. For example, applying the custom format of MMM-YY causes the data to display as we want it to. With the data sorted and reformatted, now we're ready to run Excel's data subtotal tool. To do so, let's go to the Data tab of the ribbon and choose Subtotal. In the Subtotal dialog box, we will instruct Excel to create a subtotal every time the value in the date field changes. We indicate that we want a sum function to be performed, and we want that sum function applied to the revenue column. Once we click OK, Excel subtotals the data at the monthly level, as you can see on the screen. Now interestingly, once you subtotal your data at the monthly level, you can expand the data and change the format on all of the records back to a daily format. In this example, I'll click on subtotal level number 3, and I will once again select the entire data range. Returning to the Home tab of the ribbon and changing the format, of the data in column A to a short date format. Although I've changed the format back to the original format, as you can see, when I click on subtotal level 2, the data is still subtotaled at the monthly level. And if I drill into, for example, January, you see that we can identify the data at the daily level within the month of January. Of course, returning back to the subtotal level shows us the data at the monthly level. For those who work with data subtotal, keep in mind that changing the format on the column you are subtotaling by, in this case dates, is all that is necessary to subtotal based on different criteria. On behalf of everyone at K2 Enterprises, thanks for taking time to watch this video tip. For more information on the training courses we offer, please visit our website at www.k2e.com.